I want to just share with you my most recent piece, dear sir. Um, and I think this is going to be my last video for a little bit. Not forever, but just for a little bit because I'm getting ready to start school and it's about to be crazy. So, since I'm going to be so busy, I might not get on and do as many videos as I usually do. So, hope you like this one. Dear sir. Dear sir, I'm writing because I've been thinking about you lately. Thinking about the way you came into my life and changed things around for the better. The way you brought joy and peace. The way you put a smile on my face. There's so much I want to tell you about the way you make me feel, so I've decided to get it off my chest. You are the true definition of a gentleman. You are sweet, caring, and kind. Your concern for my well-being makes me feel safe, and my heart is warmed by your smile. You are affectionate, considerate, thoughtful, and even more. And for me, it's not even the dozen roses you bring home every night. Or the dinners you cook served with wine over candlelight. It's the simple things you do that amaze me. The way you walk me to my car, make sure I get in the house. The way you hold the door and say, after you, beautiful. It's the way you text me during the day to see how I'm doing. It's the late night talks till we both fall asleep. Yes, you are so sweet. And you make me feel cared for in a way that no one could ever believe. You are passionate and emotional, present and vocal. You aren't afraid to say how you're feeling or let the tears fall. In fact, you believe that your vulnerability makes you a true man because you aren't afraid to have a heart. You stand firm for what you believe in and let the world see what a responsible, educated, positive black male looks like. Your strength and leadership is a role model to others. You are a strong man, yet you have no shame in saying I love you. You are a partner and a friend. You lead yet believe that my rightful place is by your side, for you say that we're in this together. So my position ought not be behind but beside, for I am yours and you are mine. You see me as a lady, a purpose-driven woman, and you care so deeply that it moves me. Together we will conquer all troubles we face. Our connection runs deep, for I can tell you anything. Your heart is the pages of my diary, yet you do so much more for me. In my distress, you are my comfort. In the despair, you lift me up. You speak life over me, pray for me, believe in me. Yes, you are my number one fan in everything. You have respect and your intellect is out of this world. You believe in the power of knowledge and seek to educate yourself. Yet in your pursuit of knowledge, you remain true to yourself. Your thoughts are still your own. For knowledge is simply a tool to enhance your thinking, and these thoughts are out of the box. They challenge me to perceive things differently. You seek to see beyond the surface of things, to understand the very framework and foundation of each being. You question intelligently and pursue answers passionately. Your driving charisma pushes me beyond my highest dreams, and I'm becoming something greater than I ever thought I could be. But because you believe in me, I believe that I could be greater than I ever perceived possible. So I'm reaching to the highest heights for bigger dreams and greater possibilities, all because you believe and see in me what I could not see in myself. You inspire me, push me to be more. You are our king, you walk like royalty, and you treat me like I'm your queen. Catering to my needs and fantasies. Your confidence alone is beautiful and your presence can shift the atmosphere of any room. You, my king, are a dream come true and I'm enraptured by everything about you for you are mine. I'm writing you to thank you for being the best but the crazy thing about this letter is I haven't even met you yet. Yet I know you are out there looking for me and when I have you I will cherish and respect the gift that you are. But until that day comes I'll just continue preparing myself to meet you, dear sir. So I hope you like that. Tell me what you think. Let me know. And I'm out. Deuces.